Hello everyone. In today's video, I am working on a 2017 Ford Escape 2 liter turbo. And it has 111,000 miles on it. This one does not have any PCM codes in it. The problem I'm having, the tachometer will hunt up and down. The RPMs will change subtly. Um, on a steady throttle, uh, between like 25 and 40 miles an hour. So we're going to go out and try to duplicate this problem and diagnose it. While I'm warming this up, let's go into data logger. I hope this comes out good. It's early in the morning. Best time to drive something around here in the afternoon. Man, there's so much traffic. Okay, we'll go PCM. And we're going to want to look at our torque order lockup PIDs. The first one I'm going to select is this TCC OSC PID. That's the one we're going to command on and off. Uh, it's the output state control of the torque converter. Let's go ahead and also monitor RPM. RPM can also monitor uh, torque converter slip actual we can go with a bunch more PIDs but I don't want to clutter the screen up too much I think that might get us where we need uh, let's go vehicle speed too see what's that gonna be under vehicle speed and and we'll throw up uh, Converter pressure control. So the one we're going to turn off is the TCC OSC, the output state control, the transmission, and we're going to monitor RPM. Uh, it shows zero to five thousand. Let's let's tighten up our tolerance a little bit so it'll come in a little better. Let's go down to. I'm thinking 2200 and we'll take the bottom one so zero RPM will go up to about 1200 so nothing's showing on the graph yet because it's got to be over 1200 so I'll pick up the RPM here there it's coming in and then, uh, so here's our, the slip actual, torque order slip. Let's go ahead and move that one up. And uh, let's move vehicle speed sensor up, one, two. And this will show you when it's controlling it, when the PCM is turning on the clutch. So I think we've got what we need to see here. Let's go out and drive it and um, see what happens. Now I'm just going to cruise it up the road here. You want to pick a road that's flat or just slightly uphill. And you want to go at a nice steady throttle. There, it's already doing it. Feel it right now, that fast. And there's a slip down here. So let's go ahead and unlock the converter. Unlocked it, look at that. RPMs are nice and steady now. Let's lock it back up. So this thing's got a torque converter clutch issue. Ooh, I better drive. That was quick. I thought it was going to take longer to do it. 
just pull right off the road right here and uh, what I'll do is I'll tighten this tolerance on my slip so you can see that too so the slip is at minus 100 to 2000 let's go to 600 I would change it minus 100 to 600 Okay, now we've tightened up the tolerance on our slip. You can see it slip in the same time as the RPMs go up. Air is hunting good. We'll turn it off. Hunting's gone. Turn control back on. It slips the same time the RPMs go up. So that's our problem. Definitely got a torque converter clutch issue. My guess is a uh, transmission fluid has never been serviced on this with 111,000 miles. This Mercon LV, this low viscosity, just looks awful. Even at like 50,000 miles, it's just really black and gross. Uh, most likely, flushing the transmission fluid will fix this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I might just start off by draining and filling it. These, the flushing, the connect the machine is, is like an act of God to do it. So I'll probably drain it and fill it and see if that, if that takes care of it. Here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna pull out this drain plug and drain this fluid out. These hold four and a half quarts when you drain and fill these 6F35 transmissions. We'll take a little sample in this cup. I suspect it's gonna look horrendous. Oh, and it does. Looks like dirty diesel oil. That's disgusting. And I I think this uh, one had 111,000 miles on it. Now these have a cooler and a heater. So the heater warms up the transmission fluid and the cooler cools it down. The cooler's got a bypass in it and a little thermostat doesn't allow flow through the uh, the cooler in front of the radiator. These are uh, really tough to, to get in there and connect into the cooler for the, the transmission flush machine. So I'm just gonna drain this one out, fill it up, let it run for about 20 minutes, and then drain it out one more time, and it should be good. That's gross. I'll show you the difference in the color on new Mercon LV versus what came out of it.
pretty obvious. Yeah, it's some nasty looking fluid. So there's the heater. It's got the cooler lines run through it and two coolant lines run through it. And then the cooler is underneath the battery tray. It's, it's buried deep in there. Um, and I'll show you the fill here. Here's the fill. It's got a little vent on top of it. You gotta pull the air cleaner housing out. Whoops, the camera fell down. Let me pop this rubber cap off. And then there's the opening.